Grinding cermets and getting painfully long cycle times, painfully high wheel wear, and just general pain all around. What can we do? Cermets are nasty little materials to grind. Number one, because the material in the cermet is really hard. It's getting close to uh, the hardness of the diamond. Number two, it's held in place by a soft bond material, you might call it. So that supporting material uh, actually makes things more difficult to grind than if it was just pure hard material. Various people have done some tests in grinding of cermet. One of them is a guy named Chris Kumar. Did some really good tests. We'll take a look at what he did. So Chris did a bunch of tests and he measured various things, measured power, measured G-ratio. And if we take his results and we plot them on the magic specific energy versus G-ratio curve, we'll see something like this. Now in general, if you get a higher G ratio, you tend to get higher specific energy because your wheel is harder, holds up longer, but he doesn't cut as well because he's getting dull. Kumar had tried large grits and small grits. He tried friable grits and tough grits. He tried grinding aggressively and grinding timidly. And here we have his results. You can look at them, take a look at what he did. But to summarize it, what he found was that small grits are better than big grits when it comes to grinding cermets. So when in doubt, ten, you tend to go smaller. The second thing he found, which is even more important, is friable grits, friable diamonds, do better than tough diamonds. Talk to your wheel supplier, say, hey, I want some friable grits in my wheel. Number three is they found grinding with more aggressive conditions, a higher aggressiveness number, a higher chip thickness, a higher chip load tended to help things quite a bit too because now those guys are cutting instead of just rubbing. That's kind of the holy trinity of grinding of cermets. You want a small grit, you want a friable grit, and you want to grind aggressively. So when I say grind aggressively, what typically people do is they're grinding their cermets, maybe they got a little cermet insert, things aren't going well, they slow down the feed rate. Things doesn't really help, they slow it down a little more, doesn't really help, slow it down a little more, doesn't really help because what they're doing is they're grinding less aggressively, they're doing a lot of rubbing, and just not cutting well. So don't drop your feed rate, that's a bad idea. Increase your feed rate. Take smaller depth of cut and increase your feed rate. Take lots of fast, shallow cuts instead of slow, deep cuts, and then drop your wheel speed. Drop your wheel speed a lot. Drop it in half and see what happens. Chances are you're gonna do better if you drop your wheel speed than if you drop your feed rate. So the holy trinity of grinding cermets is keep your grits small, keep your grits friable, and grind aggressively with lower wheel speeds or taking many fast, shallow cuts.